Once a month, we offer a printable for our channel membership group, and we'll drop the link for that below. And in the past, Seth has been doing some digital watercolor, but I had a request for some of my canvas art. I showed a little bit of that last week when I painted some items for a video that I was doing with Debbie, which is coming out, I think, the end of this week or next. So it's Tuesday and usually we don't do a video on Tuesday. It's our day to catch up on everything. And this is the prototype of the corbel that actually made it to the website. You can see this doesn't have the scallops along this edge like the other corbel had, but it still looks pretty cool. So we're gonna finish it up, throw it in the shop. And then we needed to take a picture of these for the website so that we can get those up. So we're painting these and getting those all ready to go too. You know what, Zep, don't we need to make another one of those for the website that is the correct? Because we these, shipped those to Mariah, we didn't have one them of these painted. painted. Yeah, I need to make, I need to get one out and paint and paint it, but got to get these ones painted. I'm just using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in flower sack, and they'll get nice and chippy when I go to sand them and distress them. And this little French round is getting down in these details really well. This is one of our new JRV stencils. I designed it specifically because I knew I wanted to redo my laundry room. It's painted in little black dress. I did not seal the base coat because I want this white swan when I sand it to kind of get everywhere and make it look like powder and look like a chalk art sign. So I've got my paint. I'm getting most of it off before I stencil. You want a really dry brush. And I'm just pouncing up and down. And it'll probably take me about two coats to get full coverage. Less is more so you don't get bleed through. All right. Ta-da! It's cute. It's like a word slide. All right, this is still a little wet, but I'm gonna put a second coat where it's a little straight. So we were gonna do shiplap, but we've always wanted to try to do something with these. Correction, Zeb has always wanted to do something with these. With the bricks. I wanted to do these on our fireplace in the basement. Come show them this part here. So this one here, looks like they got it with the forklift or something. We're gonna get that one 70% off. Well, we're gonna try. No, we'll get it 70% off. I just <laughs> talked to the guy. We're like Home Depot professionals. Now we gotta find some drawer pulls. What else are we buying? What, there was one more thing. I don't remember what the other, oh, the hardware, because we're gonna make that door slide. Oh yeah, barnwood, barn door hardware. All right, let's go find it. We're going with the black barn door track and hardware kit. We think you could probably get it cheaper on Amazon, but we need it today, so we're picking this up. It's $139 for the kit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is painting these cabinets. I'm gonna remove all the hardware. I'm going to unscrew the drawer fronts from the, cap the drawer bases and take the cabinet doors off. Those will all be sprayed and then I will brush the bases.
What you got there, Zeb? So, found a couple nightstands. They're on the taller side and they match for $10 a piece. Oh, that's always a good find. It Usually, needs a little fixing. Got a, got a little wobbly foot down here, but that's easy to glue and nail back in. Nice. And it, has, it looks like it has all the hardware, so also yes. bonus. And they're older for sure, like that, that hardware is old. We found this really cool clock here, but at $110, that's too much. Looks like all the pieces are here except for the bottom of the pendulum. I don't know if it works, but it would be cool painted. Squirt gun, 50 cents. I found this rolling pin, I don't know how much it is, but hoping under two bucks, we haven't been able to find one in forever. So I'm excited because we don't have a lot in the shop. Jamie's rounding down, it's actually six. <laughs> what is this hanging out here? For a dollar fifty. For a dollar fifty. We'll take this stuff off most likely. But the church itself is cool. Alright. We're holding all the things? Yeah, we're holding all the things. Kind of. We had a crazy busy week around here. Zeb made some corbels. He came up with his new design. We got brand new stencil designs. Check them out at jamierayvintage.com. We went thrifting. What else did we do? We went to Home Depot. Oh, yeah. We did the, the door that slides. And you guys got a sneak peek of our cabinets. Next week we're gonna finish up our laundry room redo. And we've got a lot of fun stuff going on. Be sure to check out jamierayvintage.com. If you're watching this the day of the airs, we have a flash milk paint sale going on. The sale ends May 13th, 2019 at 10 p.m. Utah time, so definitely don't miss out on that. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and comment below so you can let us know what you'd like to see on next week's vlog video. Subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.